G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, we're just adding something to our van, something that we should have had quite a while ago. It is a big safety thing, and I think a lot of people have avoided them. Um, I know basically if you buy a van new, it's gonna have it, but if you got an older van, it won't, and you should have one put on. If you have a GVM over two ton, you gotta be state specific and that sort of thing. There's all different regulations, but for us, Anything over two ton is supposed to have a breakaway controller. Um, we've never had one. I know that's naughty, but I've just hated the idea of this. Uh, there's the battery inside the van um, that controls the breakaway controller, and usually that battery needs to be changed every, you know, I think it's every year or something. Otherwise, they go flat. They go flat from not being used. They go flat when they shit themselves. They're just a nightmare. Um, I've encountered more of them not working upon a test than working so it's it just sort of left a bad taste in my mouth and it's just something that i've never got into um, but we did find this atom power brake controller uh, breakaway controller at vic off road um, and it doesn't have the unit inside with the external battery and everything it's actually a solar powered breakaway controller um, so that just ticked that first box for me straight away so I don't, don't have to worry about changing a battery every year it just mounts on the drawbar here and it's going to so always be charged with solar. So I, as far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong with that. But we'll, um, we'll just go through how to fit them up. Well, how to fit this one up because this is going to be a lot simpler than your in-van ones because those are a lot more wiring. But let's have a look what we got inside. So this was the team at, like I said, Vic Off-Road again. They were, they're awesome to deal with, guys. They're just a dream. But surely that's not it. Is that it? Yep. Oh, here we go, wiring. That's it. I should have known by the size of the box it was going to be tiny, eh? Alright, so... That's tiny. So that's it there. That's the whole breakaway controller, guys. That's unreal. Considering, like I said, it's normally a decent sized box. I take that's a solar panel. Yes. So that's your battery inside, your lithium battery. Don't blow away. Your lithium battery is always inside there, solar panel on top, so that's just sitting on your drawbar, always getting charged. So even if you're not using your van, if you're not towing, you're not doing anything, the controller is always going to be charged. That is, like I said, it is a common thing. Um, upon ones that I've tested where people say theirs aren't working and I've had to test them, the battery is usually always flat because they haven't been anywhere or the battery isn't charging properly through their system. Now, we'll have to get them to look through instructions. What do we got there? Uh, blue, white, and black. Blue, white, black. So blue will be electric brakes, so that'll come from your brakes themselves. That will tap in. Then you'll have a positive and a negative. I'll just have to see. Ah, no, it should only be positives, right? Yeah, one will be power. I'll get and look through the book before we confuse everyone. We'll see what's in here. Oh, this will be the um, actual breakaway unit. Yeah, yeah. So this will then mount on your side of your drawbar here, and the other end of it will clip to your car. So on the horrid incident where the van releases from your vehicle then that there will pull out of this controller and lock your brakes up rather than your van shooting all over the road it is a very big safety thing um i've also taken another precaution with this our trailer loom is that long that when our trailer hitch did break off this has happened to us over in wa the van dropped to the road and slid back onto the safety chains but our trailer loom was long enough that the trailer plug actually stayed plugged in and our trailer brakes were still working. So while Em was on the brakes, it kept the van nice and straight for us. But if your trailer plug does pull out or your safety chains break and your van shoots off completely separate from your car, your brakes will lock up and come to a nice stop on the road. But we'll just get Em to look through the wiring and I'll come back to you. But um, yeah, I'll just do that and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so M just taking me through colors. Um, black we have going to power. So that's just a 12 volt power source at your trailer plug. Um, most trailer plugs will have a 12 volt power, like an AUX power. If not, like we don't. So I'll be tapping into our lights, like our park lights. So that way, as soon as we hook up the van, we always turn our park lights on anyway. So this will be trickle charging or whatever that 12 volt does through our lights wire. White we have earth. So that just goes to your normal earth in your trailer plug. And then the blue goes to one side of your breakaway switch, being this one here. 
and then the other side of that taps into your blue in your trailer plug which goes to your brakes so basically when this pulls out that'll connect a circuit and here this is just an on off switch and that will connect power from this battery straight through to your brakes on your van and away you go your van's nice and safe sitting on the side of the road with any luck so that's close usually you won't have room inside your trailer plug to run a whole another set of what three wires out of there and that would just look hideous so basically i've pulled some loom out of inside my chassis and i'm tapping into it right here so there's only what have we got positive negative and the brakes wire so i only tap tapping into three of those um you can do it the dodgy way you know splice it back tap it in and then tape it and that's yuck i don't recommend that but if cutting and all that's out of your leg, then you might have to do that. Um, but I'll be cutting the wires I need, soldering in, putting a junction and heat shrinking it all, doing it properly. And then that loom then will just be going back and mounting where I put the controller. So I'll get in, we'll wire this up, well, and we'll solder for me, but we'll get in and wire this up. And then I'm hoping, because as you can see, I'll get M to pan around. The Jeep is currently out of action. So, we can't take the van for a drive to test it and the van is sitting on a leveling ramp on a pallet it's in a hell of a situation um so i don't really want to move it but i'm hoping we can jack up the wheel on the passenger side i can spin the wheel get m to pull the controller and that wheel should lock up so we'll get in and wire it up and get back to you Unfortunately, like a lot of things nowadays, it doesn't come with any mounting hardware. Um, obviously, I know I understand that that doesn't because no one knows what thickness you're going through, whether you're going through steel alley, what it is, whether you want a nut or bolt. Preferably, I would have liked to use a nut and bolt through that, um, but long story short, I don't have a nut and bolt that small. They're like a four mil hole in the um unit itself so i haven't got any nuts and bolts that little so basically i'm just pre-drilling holes and putting good old tech screws um straight through so i'm obviously mounting it right here next to my brakes um basically that's going to be less shadow from everything because you got to think of that because it's got the solar panel you got to think of shadowing what's going to block it whereas out here it's going to be like it's in sun now so it's going to be in sun nearly all day and the wiring's going to come straight around the back underneath and tap into my trailer loom so that should be perfect and then the actual breakaway unit i'll just put straight on the side or maybe back here but we'll work that out in a sec so i'm just gonna pre-drill get one more screw in and we should be good to go with wiring All right, so all wired in. I didn't take you through all the soldering process. I just, just showed you a little bit, but that's pretty boring. But it's all wired in now. I just gotta get some really small, like, you know, this spaghetti stuff just to put over these wires on the back of the controller just to protect them um, from the elements. But I'm just gonna clean all this up because I've got everywhere. And then I might back the Wrangler up and we'll double check it works when I go like that. Fingers crossed. But M just actually, there's a little test button here on top um, that you can hold and tells you how far the battery is charged and the battery is sitting fully charged. So we should be right for a test run. But I'll clean up. All right, so 
Back to Jeep up, we had to use the big Jeep because we have got the 12 pin connector and it wouldn't fit in the Wrangler, I didn't even think of that. So we did some jerry rigging there and got the Jeep over here hooked up. Um, got a ratchet strap and everything holding the van because like I said it's all jacked up on stands and that, that side. I've got a jack under the axle, I haven't lifted it far but it's clearly enough to spin the wheel because it, it's really dodgy. Um, but I'm just going to get M to pull the breakaway now and then this should lock up. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so push it back in. I'm holding pressure. There we go. So, we are now legal in the respect that we have a breakaway controller. Oh, anyway. But I'm not going to jam it, I'm just going to drop this down and I'll be back. Alright, guys, so that is the Atom breakaway controller all fitted up. Um, Thanks to Vic Off-Road, I never even realized that something this simple and basic even existed. Um, after we got the power bank off them, I just, every now and then when I'm looking at things, I just shoot him an email and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Is something like that available? And yeah, he got back to us and said, yep, this. We've been looking around at so many over the years and like it's, it's in the same price bracket, um, like it's 86 bucks. So most of them are about that price to anywhere from like 50 to 150 bucks. Just depends on what you want to spend. But all the others have the big box that sits inside, like with your battery, the wiring and, and all that sort of thing. They're always clunky. They take up a lot of room. Um, I think this may be one of the only ones on the market that's, that's this compact. Um, like that's the whole unit three wires tapped into your trailer plug and that's that's it that's your whole unit hooked up it took us 20 minutes yeah if so. 20 minutes from unboxing it to testing it like if if we didn't have to jack the van up and stuff around with the car literally 20 minutes and it'd be done i don't think you could get any others that quick and this battery can't shoot itself so you know it's a lithium it's all built in the solar panels on top um, so as for the first unboxing and fitting it, I, I got no complaints at all. Quality has been really good. Um, it's nice thick wire and everything, but as for longevity, uh, we'll give it probably 12 months and we'll do an update video every month or so of traveling. I'll just keep pulling it and making sure it works. Try and run that battery down. It has got the test light on top to check the charge indicator. So we'll make sure that solar panel is holding up to it. And then the other two wires, they're positive and negative to go into your trailer loom. They're just a charge. So as soon as we hooked it up to the car, a little charge light came on on top, so it charges through that as well. But because we're going to be sitting here for a couple of months, it won't be getting hooked up to the car. So it'll be awesome to see how that does. So every probably two or three days, I'm going to come out and pull that for a little bit, and it'll just drain the battery down that bit. But yeah, I, there's not much to say anymore. I don't think like it's super simple to fit, guys. Anyone could do that. But yeah, so huge shout out, Vic Off Road, um, Adam. What is it? Adam, Adam Power. Adam Power. Huge shout out to you guys. That's a wicked product. I really hope that takes off. That's so good. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.